Well, good evening. Oh, come on. You, okay, I'm going to say that you had your mouth full of food on that one. Good evening. Okay, if you had your mouth full on the first one, that was probably not a good one uh, that second time since you said something. Welcome to our campus tonight. Welcome to a very special, special time tonight. Uh, my name is Bill Pink. I am honored to serve as Vice President and Dean of uh, our School of Workforce Development here at GRCC. And I want to say that we are very happy and uh, proud to have each of you here tonight. But we're also proud of the fact of the reason why we're here tonight. Uh, this uh, celebration is the culmination of several months of planning and thought and process, and it comes to uh, this uh, time that we spend together tonight to celebrate 25 years of an incredible partnership that has not only um, produced some very uh, great um, academic programs, but also has produced uh, for this Grand Rapids and West Michigan area a very prepared workforce. And so, Tonight, we celebrate that 25 years of partnership between two institutions in this building. One thing that was shared with me earlier this afternoon, and I, and I, I, I did not tell these people I was going to do this, but I want, there's four people I'd like just to kind of stand real quick. Sorry about this. Well, really, no, I'm not sorry. Um, so I'd like to see Birgit Coles, if you'd stand up. Bob Partridge, where are you, Bob? I just, right over here. C.J. Schroll, C.J., where are you? Right next to Bob. Right next to Bob. And also Paul Prince. Where's uh, Dr. Prince? Right there. Now, not to say that no one else in this room may have had some blood and sweat and tears into this process of standing this effort up, but 25 years ago, the four individuals you see standing before you had a dream and had an idea in mind of what this level of partnership could be like. And here we are 25 years later in a facility that has not only expanded but has improved over the time period. If it not for visionary people like the four people I just mentioned, this type of work never happens. Please join me in thanking that work. Thank you. Thank you. Um, <laughs> Birgit made me laugh when she came in because she said, uh, wait a minute, 25 years already? <laughs> she was 18 years old when this happened. <laughs> it's amazing that a person fresh out of high school could have such a hand in this. But we thank them. Let me go ahead and get started into our program. Friends, let me introduce to you uh, a very important part of this work as well in the last uh, eight years. Uh, the ninth president of Grand Rapids Community College, Dr. Stephen Ender. Well, good evening. Bill did better, but that's okay. I'm not going to ask you to do it again. That's fine. I understand you're tired of that. Uh, so before I get started, I got to tell you, I was looking at this, and I thought, boy, that's nice. And I looked at it again. So have you looked at it? Two colleges of distinction, 1991 to 2016, one school of thought. Now, I don't know who came up with this, but that's perfect. President Eisler, that's perfect. It reflects our work together in this building, and um, I hope it was one of our GRCC people. I'm not competitive <laughs> at all, <laughs> but I just love that. <laughs> Also, before I really get into my remarks, I know we have some GRCC board members with us tonight, and if you would just stand up quickly as I introduce you. D Dick Stewart is here, Deb Bailey's here, Rick Verberg, Cynthia Bristow, and David Cucci. So thank you very much for your service. And um, this doesn't happen tonight. Um, without some people putting in a lot of work to make sure that we have a wonderful evening of celebration. Um, at Ferris, uh, Associate Dean Tracy Hilty. Tracy, where are you? Okay, right here. Really great work. And then the GRCC team that was working with this was Dr. Bill Pink and Amy Koning, uh, Vicki Nowiak, and Misty McClure-Anderson. If you folks would raise your hand, let us recognize you. So it is amazing how quickly 25 years can come and go. 
But what's even more amazing is how many people have been affected by this building during that time frame. Thousands of students have walked these halls and studied in these classrooms and laboratories. Some, nearly 5,000, earned degrees or certificates from GRCC. Many more transferred to Ferris State University, the top transfer choice for GRCC students in 2015. And I think that number, I think I'm right, that accounts to, in the last 10 years, 10,000 students from GRCC transferring to Ferris State University. Yeah, that's... Uh, Ferris is a natural education pathway for our students because of the robust 2 plus 2 and 3 plus 1 programs that we offer in this facility. Uh, it's a seamless process for students to continue their studies beyond an associate degree and earn their baccalaureate credential. I mean, I was talking to President Eisler uh, earlier tonight. You know, it's just wonderful when our students can come here, earn their associate degree, and some programs, three years of study, and never leave this building to earn the Ferris baccalaureate degree. Uh, many of our students would never be able to make that trip and stay residentially in Big Rapids. So to have this program here in partnership, it's just a, a wonderful tribute to the vision that led to this building. We've clearly created a win-win for students and families and these partnerships become the bedrock of our work together. And that brings us to the real reason we're here tonight. We're not just celebrating the 25th anniversary of the Wisner Bottrell Applied Technology Center, but the collaboration between GRCC and Ferris that has and will continue to have a lasting impact on West Michigan. The ATC came through the vision of two former college leaders. GRCC President Richard Calkins and FSU President J. William Winrick. Through support from the state, a capital campaign, and contributions from business and industry leaders, the ATC was officially dedicated in June 17, 1991. And I understand, Bob, you probably can help me with this. This was done on a handshake deal between those two presidents, literally, and then started to piece together how are we going to get this work accomplished. This 27 million technical training center was conceived as a joint venture to provide cutting edge training, and it was the first two year, four year partnership of its kind. From a concurrent enrollment agreement signed in 2001 to a reverse transfer agreement in 2011, GRCC and Ferris have continued to find new ways that our partnership can help students achieve their educational goals. Notable highlights from the past 25 years also include the installation of a green roof in this building in 2007 to enhance the building's energy conservation and decrease its carbon footprint. The 25,000 square foot pre-vegetated roof helps cool and clean the air, provides insulation that saves energy and reduces rainwater runoff. During this time, legacy donors opened an important part of the college's became an important part of the college's open door fundraising campaign with the ATC renamed the Wisner Batrell Applied Technology Center in 2008 in honor of the generous financial support of Tom and Joyce Wisner and David and Michelle Batrell. The ATC and the programs it houses continues to benefit from the support of West Michigan businesses and industry leaders. Throughout the past 25 years, they have been important partners with GRCC. I'll just pause. I know, you're fine, but I'll just pause. I love that, though. It's a nice background. <laughs> We're all good. No need to apologize. I'm just glad it wasn't me tonight, because that's happened, too. Throughout the past 25 years, they have been important partners with GRCC and FSU in enhancing educational opportunities for our students. The most recent result of the support has been the recent opening of the college's Fountain Hill Brewery and Peter's Pub, part of the vast offerings for students at our Secchia Institute for Culinary Education. The Culinary Institute itself was renamed in 2007 to reflect the generous support of Peter and Joan Secchia. 
In 2012, the Pietro and Regina Amphitheater was named to honor Ambassador Secchia's grandparents. So many, many extraordinary efforts have been expended throughout the 25 years in support of educational opportunity between these two wonderful institutions. I can't wait to see what the next 25 years hold. Now, I'd like to introduce a great colleague and friend, and at times a mentor, and then somebody who I can cry on their shoulder, and who completely understands everything that I am going through. Dr. David Eisler, president at Ferris State University. David. It's a pleasure to be with you here this evening for the 25th anniversary of our partnership with Grand Rapids Community College. And President Ender, before you get too comfortable, could you join me back here on the stage? <laughs> In higher education, there are two things that we don't do nearly enough. The first is celebrate our success, and the second is to say thank you. And fortunately tonight, we have the opportunity to do both. Uh, it's been my great pleasure and honor to work with President Ender. He's a remarkable man, a great leader for education, a person of character. More than that, he's been a colleague that I could always count on, a man who puts students first and their education first. Under his leadership and with his support, our efforts here have grown and prospered. Steve, as we celebrate the 25th anniversary of this ATC and thank those who created and built it, I also want to celebrate and thank you. Thank you, David. Thank you, David. You're gonna open it. It says, presented to President Stephen C. Ender from Ferris State University, and thanks for your partnered efforts in helping students. September 29th, 2016, Ferris State University. Thank you very much. David. Thank you, David. Really appreciate it. Thank you. This is in the shape of, a, of the torch, which we see at Ferris as representing the lamp of learning, and Steve, you, you exemplify Thank that. You Thank much. you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Uh, I want to recognize a, a couple of people here with us tonight. Gene Shaw, who's a member of our foundation board. Uh, Shelly Piercy, who's our vice president for university advancement and marketing. Jerry Scoby, who's our vice president for administration and finance. Uh, Steve Reifert, who's our dean of extended international operations. Steve Durst, who's the dean of our college of pharmacy. Cheryl Clucci, who's the assistant dean of extended international operations. Greg Zimmerman, who's a department head in our College of Health Professions. Yusama Asamadu, who's our education uh, director. And Carlos Sanchez, who directs our Latino Business and Economic Development Center in Grand Rapids. You encourage me to say thank you to them. And we've already talked about Tracy Hilty, but Tracy, if where are you? Hi, right, Tracy. You have been a leading light here, and I'd like you, along with all of our colleagues who work here at Grand Rapids uh, in the Ferris program, to either raise their hands and stand so we can thank our, all the faculty and staff here at, here at uh, who work in this program. <laughs> if you work at a university, you understand these are the people who do the real work. And so those are the, the folks who impact on our students, and I'm so grateful for them. I'd also be uh, remiss if I didn't recognize a person who's no longer with us, but who really was an inspiration to me in the work here, and that was Don Green, who's now the president of Georgia Highlands College. And I want to acknowledge his, his contributions to this, to this center here. <laughs> Steve and all our colleagues at Grand Rapids Community College, we're really proud to be your partner. And in the best way that I possibly can, I want to express our sincere gratitude, gratitude to you for partnering with us and for making such a difference for students. What we do together and through your efforts, we help your students become our students. And I think that's what this is about. And that's the magic of what we do. 
it isn't often you have the opportunity to look back and look at 25 years of experience and to really truly understand the vision, the wisdom, the foresight of our predecessors, but we do that tonight. What they forged here is an extraordinary idea, one that bridges the artificial boundaries of our institutions and focuses on the unifying concepts of seeking to meet student needs, student learning, right here where the students are already comfortable with the environment and in the community where they both work and live. Creation of this ATC actually began more than 25 years ago with President Bill Renrick, and I had the opportunity to visit with Bill about this before he passed away, and then was followed by President Helen Popovich. And they worked together with people at GRCC, you have already mentioned them, but your president, Richard Calkins, Bob Partridge, C.J. Schroll, we're great, glad to have you with us, and Don Boyer, and I'm sure when you make a list like that, you probably leave out 20 others, but some really great leaders who had vision and foresight, and Birgit, I sit, see you sitting here, and. You know, I, I don't know whether you were 21 or 12 at the time, but we're grateful for what you did. Thank you for doing that. And you know, I think that you and so many leaders here in, in Grand Rapids had the vision to see that this is what we should be doing. And you reached out to the philanthropic community and they supported us. So we're so pleased to have funders with us tonight because this wouldn't have happened without you. And as I've learned the story of this, of this facility, and one of the things I love is, is university history. We, we don't pay enough attention to it, but there's these great traditions of our institutions, and this has been an opportunity for me to learn about how this came to be, and one of the names I heard mentioned most frequently is Fred Keller from Cascade Engineering. I know he strongly supported this concept, and he led the capital campaign to help fund it, but I'm certain that in mentioning Fred, there are so many others who cared just like he did, and who didn't do it for the recognition, but did it because they knew it would help the students in the community, because that's what we do here in Grand Rapids. As Steve said, this was the first partnership of its kind in the state between a two and four year institution. And today it seems such a logical, reasonable approach. It's easy to overlook what an extraordinary idea and accomplishment it was. And this partnership template created here is something that we at Ferris do today at 21 locations across the state, so we learn much from you. But for this to succeed, everybody focuses on the education, uh, the classes, the bachelor courses. It took a lot more to do that. Educators understand we needed to provide the student support here so the students could both learn, succeed, and not only graduate. But I think beyond that, what had to happen is we had to bring together two distinct and separate institutions, and they had to learn how to blend their cultures together you know, bridging the differences and difficulties that exist in our academic marketplace. And they did it. And all of us in this room continue to do this each and every day for our students. This ATC has changed the lives of thousands of students, helping them build on their GRCC experience with a bachelor's degree from Ferris. It has been at the core of building a student-centered relationship between our colleges, and it has and is succeeding magnificently. I don't have the 10-year picture that, that Dr. Ender did, but what I can tell you is in the last four and a half years, 2,211 students from Grand Rapids Community College transferred to Ferris. And well over 450 a year, that is. And many of them are right here in this building. I think beyond that, and most importantly, over the last five years, 1,800 students who began their degree at GRCC earned their bachelor degree from us. Isn't that fantastic? That's fantastic. <laughs> As such, this partnership exemplifies the words of our founder, Woodbridge Ferris, a statement he made in 1916, 100 years ago, when he was serving as the governor of Michigan. He said, my plea in Michigan, and it'll be my plea to the last breath I draw and the last words I speak, is education for all children, all men, and all women of Michigan, all the people in all our states, all the time. We believe those words are just as true today as they were over 100 years ago, and certainly they are alive and well in this place in Grand Rapids. I'm told the first programs in this partnership were technical fields where we remain strengths in the industry, automotive, construction, electronics, HVACR, manufacturing, and plastics. In time, we added programs beyond this initial mission in business, computer science, criminal justice, healthcare, hospitality management, and teacher education. Today, we've expanded on these with 
cutting edge, high tech, high demand fields in cybersecurity, digital animation and game design, industrial technology, molecular diagnostics, nuclear medicine, product design, respiratory care, and software engineering. Our commitment is to help support the needs of students here at GRCC and to provide the education that employers need, business and industry throughout West Michigan need. And tonight, as we look to the past and celebrate the past, we also see the future. We see the future only because we stand on the shoulders of giants, men and women who built these relationships where no others like this existed anywhere. In doing so, I want to thank everyone here who plays a role in encouraging and shaping the success of our students, building a bright future for our graduates, and doing so, improving the quality of life and strengthening the economy of West Michigan. Each of us here tonight owes a debt of gratitude to the men and women who forged this remarkable partnership. At Ferris, we partner in opportunity, in access, in education that blends theory and practice, an educational approach that encourages all to imagine more. The programs in our combined efforts here exemplify this. We all know collaboration is a hallmark of West Michigan. Nothing exemplifies it better than this remarkable partnership we celebrate tonight. As we celebrate this evening, we look forward to many years of continued success, achievement, and eff educational efforts that change people's lives forever. Thank you so very much. Thank you to President Ender as well as President Eisler. Um, so good to hear from our two leaders of these institutions. Thank you very much. Ladies and gentlemen, if you would, direct your attention to either screen for this video presentation that chronicles 25 years of partnership here in this building. Good afternoon, I'm Richard Austin, and we're here live this afternoon on the campus of Grand Rapids Junior College for an announcement by Michigan Governor William J. Blanchard, James J. Blanchard. One, two, three. So what does it mean to celebrate the anniversary of any building? For sure, it's a measure of respect for those who came before us, who had a vision and the skills to rally the community and raise the funds and pour the concrete. And it's this kind of facility that this community needs in order to meet the international competition that we all are, are knowing now exists. An anniversary is a celebration of longevity, simple survival through turbulent times. The Applied Technology Center will serve students of all ages for generations to come. But in some cases, particularly when honoring a facility of higher education, recognizing an anniversary is far more than reflecting on memories. This is an exciting day for Ferris State as it is for Grand Rapids Junior College as we present to the community this exciting facility. An anniversary is a chance to assess whether the intent behind the construction was followed through, whether, after 25 years, there are results which prove it was all worthwhile. The Wisner Bottrell Applied Technology Center is one such building, enjoying a quarter of a century of educating students in West Michigan. In terms of programs, it has been dynamic, changing its offerings as the needs of local employers have changed. Today, it trains individuals in the latest information systems, manufacturing and construction tools, biomedical sciences and computer animation, and all the while still housing one of the greatest culinary schools in the country. But perhaps the best demonstration of the ATC's value is what has resulted from the unique partnership that has existed from the outset, the combined resources of Grand Rapids Community College and Ferris State University. Together, these two institutions have created accessible pathways to higher education for educators, artists, builders, and engineers, just to name a few. Together, GRCC and Ferris have prepared a new generation of leaders who got their start right here in the ATC. I started in architectural technology. I graduated in 1997. Uh, I then took a job at Pioneer Construction, proceeded my education into construction management. I got to do that, fortunately, right here in downtown Grand Rapids. All my general education classes were done at GRCC. All of classes which were done right over here at the ATC building. It was very important for uh, guys like myself. Uh, we got to work our full 40, 50 hour weeks and uh, that played a huge benefit um, because uh, we could continue our education, become professionals in our industry, uh, and allowed us to do that right here in downtown Grand Rapids. Roll your hands. One, two, three. 
I knew I wanted to work with young children and be a teacher. So I enrolled at GRCC's Child Development Associates program at first. I made connections and quickly because of the ATC building and, and learning that Ferris was right downtown here and uh, there was no barriers for me having to commute up to Big Rapids. Having a partnership like that between Ferris State and GRCC was so supportive because there was like seamless transitions between the two and I could be dual enrolled at both and it worked out great. I started going to GRCC. They have a one-year quality certificate. I achieved that and then moved on to get my associates in quality science at GRCC and then took the opportunity to transfer to Ferris uh, to get my bachelor's degree in quality engineering. I work with a Gentex office in Japan that has a direct relationship with the customers in Japan and I work with them to help resolve quality issues. The best thing about the Applied Technology Center was it wasn't just the textbook learning, it was learning from other people in industry about their day-to-day -day jobs, issues that they deal with. Uh, they were perfect. It was absolutely perfect. All of the classes I needed at Ferris were there on campus, primarily in the ATC, and I didn't have to go anywhere else. Started Think Chromatic uh, in the summer of 2014. We've grown to nine employees, five of those employees all being Ferris graduate. And I've always had the passion in the video game world, the CGI industry. I uh, was looking online and I discovered Ferris State University and they had a digital animation and game design program. Learned a lot of the tools of the trade and the gen ed classes uh, were very flexible. The teachers were unbelievable. Uh, at GRCC, I, I learned how creative Grand Rapids is. You know, when we're in an artistic field like we are, being able to see some of those students, even ones that I've taught, progress, it, it makes me feel confident for our future. I've had great fortune to build a lot of different projects, but there is nothing like building an academic facility. You know you're a part of molding thousands and thousands of students. And it's not done with just a building, it's done with a community of folks, whether it's faculty, staff, administrators. You feel like you had a small part in that, and it's, uh, it's very humbling, it's very gratifying. Today we all share in the sense of pride that our alumni Scott Vane expresses. We are all part of the community that built the ATC, and we will continue to share in its evolution for generations to come. Our thank you to Class Quant and his production staff for putting together an awesome, awesome piece to chronicle these last 25 years. Could you give him one more round of applause, please? Okay, so if I could have President Ender and President Eisler come up to the uh, table, have a, a little signing to do. So what we wanted to do as part of this 25 years is to mark this day also with a reaffirmation, if you will, for the next 25 plus years of this uh, relationship. And so what you're seeing now is that President Eisler and President Ender are both signing a proclamation that basically says that this relationship continues on and that we will not only work to do all we can to continue, but to also strengthen. Uh, the relationship and strengthen the offerings that happen between these two institutions. So the signing that you see there uh, is that proclamation. It will soon, in the coming days, be followed by an official uh, renewal agreement for the, uh, the relationship between our two institutions at this location. Awesome. <laughs> Thank you, sir. Thank you, gentlemen. All right, you guys don't have to stay there if you don't want to. But if you want to, you can. All right, is Paul Flynn here? Paul, where are you? Let me introduce you to someone. Coming to the stage at this time is Paul Flynn. Paul is the Vice President of Operations for Gentex. Let me tell you a little bit about him. 
Paul is a native of Boston, Massachusetts. He has a bachelor's of science degree in manufacturing engineering and also an MBA in design management, both of those degrees from Ferris State University, he being also a product of both of these institutions right here in this building. Prior to joining Gentex in 1996, Paul held various engineering and management positions, uh, one at Unit Road Corporation, Teledyne uh, Components Incorporated, and Analogic Corporation as well. Uh, in his role as Vice President at Gentex, he is responsible for providing direction and, and structure for Gentex's manufacturing operations. Paul is a member of the Society of Manufacturing Engineers and Design West Michigan and is a proud alum of both of these institutions. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Paul Flynn. Good evening, everybody. So thank you so much for having me here tonight. Uh, I am a benefactor of uh, this collaboration, and uh, thank you, President Enders and President Eisler. Thank you, Tracy, also for arranging this tonight and getting me here. Um, that introduction was wonderful. Uh, those jobs that I had before I came here, I did without the benefit of having a bachelor's degree. I had started my uh, educational career after high school and got a good job. And like a lot of folks, a lot of the students that come here, I started a family and I deferred my education. And as uh, when I moved to Michigan and came to work for Gentex, there were skills that I just didn't have. And as I looked for a resource in the area to take some programming classes, I stumbled across uh, GRCC, of course, and took a C++ class here, and then a, virtual, a visual basic class, uh, and then realized that Ferris was here as well and offered uh, a route to a bachelor's degree. Uh, I can tell you that having this resource in Grand Rapids uh, has been uh, priceless for me and my family and the many hundreds and thousands of students that have gone through because we work because we have families. It's, uh, we didn't uh, or weren't able to complete our bachelor's degree uh, from the ages of 18 to 22 or 23. And being able to go to school at night and get a quality education that was relevant every day, every day when I went back to work, everything I learned here at night, uh, I was able to take to work uh, and do very well. And I think that's uh, helped me to advance my career to where it is right now. Uh, but I can tell you that uh, the students that come here uh, work very, very hard. The faculty that's here is amazing. Uh, they dedicate their lives uh, to the, the students. Uh, they're here every day. They drive the students very, very hard. They know they're tired, uh, but they get the best out of us. Uh, and I think that's really what's made the collaboration work. Uh, this is unique. There's really nothing else like this uh, in West Michigan or anywhere that I'm aware of. Uh, there are larger cities have night schools, and that's what I've always done. Uh, but I think that here in West Michigan, there's really nothing else like it. Uh, so I just want to say thank you for everything you've given to me. Uh, Mr. Rusko, Mark Rusko over there has done a lot for uh, many hundreds of students that have been here. Uh, and uh, Joe West is another guy that's done a great job. He's not here tonight. Uh, but really, uh, I'm a product of what the intent of the collaboration was, uh, myself and thousands of other folks. Uh, and again, I really appreciate being here to represent the students. Uh, there are many of them that couldn't be here or aren't here tonight. Uh, but for them, I want to say thank you from the bottom of our hearts. Thank you very much. Have a great night. Well, I tell you what, ladies and gentlemen, that's really what it's all about, right? Having education that goes from one institution to the next and it stay in the same building and not only be able to get that education to be able to make our living, but to be able to uh, pass that on to others. Paul, thank you. Thank you for your words and thank you for the example that you give for both of these institutions. Well, um, I want to encourage you at this point. Uh, we have uh, some facility tours available for you if because uh, some of you I know uh, from having conversations with you earlier, haven't been in this building in a while, you will be surprised of all the additions that have been made uh, in the last several years. Uh, if you hadn't been in here for a while, you may be surprised to see everything from a nuclear um, uh, medicine or a nuclear um, uh, medicine diagnostic program lab all the way to a brew pub. I mean, we do everything in between as well. Um, also, if you are, if you notice here on this floor, if you're familiar with this building, the Heritage Restaurant is here, uh, although they have told me that they are actually fully booked tonight. Uh, so if you planned on grabbing dinner uh, at the Heritage, not tonight, come back. Uh, I'd love to have you at the Heritage, but the Brew Pub is right, outside, is right in the same footprint. 
as the Heritage, and it is open tonight. Uh, as a matter of fact, open five minutes ago. Not that I know that or anything, but uh, <laughs> opened about five minutes ago, and it'll be open until around 8.30 tonight. Please feel free not only to go in and tour and see the facility, feel free to uh, take advantage of that as well. <coughs> Excuse me. So a uh, quick uh, rundown of these, uh, these tours available from the Ferris State side. There's a digital animation and game design. That uh, lab will be open tonight, and I believe David Baker, our program coordinator, will be, uh, be there. Also, there the molecular diagnostic lab, uh, Dr. Peacock will be in there. Uh, as well as that nuclear medicine lab that I mentioned earlier. Uh, Tim Vanderland will be in there uh, for you uh, to uh, see and, and uh, be able to take advantage of those. They're right here on this floor uh, with uh, on the Ferris State side. And from GRCC, our Secchia, our cooking amphitheater, if you haven't seen that, it is on this floor as well. Amy Koning, our associate dean, uh, will be there uh, to show you that facility, which is very nice. Um, our Maker's Lab, uh, uh, and Drew Rosima from our CIS department will be in there. Uh, that's on the next floor, one floor up. If you go up the stairs or up the elevator, you can get to the Maker's Lab. That's a brand new spot uh, just developed as well. And then there's a machine tool lab up there as well uh, that's actually on this floor. Nate Spahn will be there uh, in the machine tool lab right here on this floor as well. Please, please feel free to look at these, uh, to go and tour these facilities, see what uh, this uh, institution, these two institutions and this building, uh, what we've been able to do over the past several years uh, and celebrate that with us tonight. Thank you very much for coming tonight and we appreciate it. Let's start off uh, another, the next 25 and see what's in store. Thank you very much. Thank you.